Okay, good morning, everyone. Am I audible? Please confirm anyone. Am I audible or not? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So good morning, everyone. So we have start. Uh, so last classes we have discussed uh, in our transducer part, and we have to discuss that is that uh, classify the of the different transducer. Okay. So that means active transducer and passive transducer. So in this classification, we have to show the previous one that is. Uh, passive transducer and active transducer. You know that. So in this active transducer, we have to discuss. This is the basically measurement uh, the uh, electrical parameter that is a voltage and also current. And this active transducer, you know that this is thermocouple and thermopile. Uh, these are the another one. Number two, that is a moving coil generator, piezoelectric pickup setup, photovoltaic cell. So these are the basically. Come from the active transducer. You know that, and we have discussed uh, what is the basic principle of operation of this active transducer part, and what is the application area of the active transducer part. Okay, and also we have discussed in our previous classes. This is the basically uh, passive transducer in the uh, classification of different types according the electrical parameter. That is the resistance measurement okay that is a resistance different types of resistance measurement of transducer that means potentiometer okay then also this kind of resistance strain gauge pirani gauge or hot water meter okay resistance thermometer or pyrometer we have to discuss thermistor we have to discuss okay and another one also photoconductive cell resistance hygrometer and next number 2 we have to discuss this is basically uh, the properties of the inductance also okay so using this inductance we have to measure uh, the different types of transducer device we have to available that is magnetic circuit breaker okay reluctance type of transducer differential transformer eddy current gauge so these are the basically classified under the uh, passive transducer using the inductance properties also okay and also we have to discuss that is the capacitance also okay so this capacitance using this capacitance property we have to discuss different types of gauge that is variable capacitance pressure gauge capacitor microphone dielectric gauge so these are the basically we have to classes uh, classify the passive transducer and we have to discuss every one the principal and application area of the passive transducer okay so now Uh, another one another another passive transducer it is also available using the uh, voltage and current capacity okay so my white board is visible everyone this response me my white board is visible everyone yes, yes sir. sir okay so this is the basically number four categories in the passive transducer using the voltage and current voltage and current so first it is example there is a hall effect pickup setup hall effect pickup so using this voltage and current measurement this hall effect pickup this is basically generation of a, a potential difference okay that means the voltage difference across the semiconductor okay that means you know that semiconductor material we have to use is germanium and silicon so there are the one junction is available pn junction so this this hall effect sensor or transducer is generation of a potential difference into the semiconductor material due to interaction of the magnetic flux in the applied of the current 
Okay, so using this property, we have to use this Hall effect pickup sensor or Hall effect transducer as a passive transducer. So what is the application area? It is basically uses uh, for magnetic flux measurement, magnetic flux measurement, and also it is sometimes it is also uses for the current measurement. Okay, so these are the basically uh, application area of the voltage and current type of passive transducer. Another another one. This is basically ionization. Ionization chamber. This is another one. So what is the ionization chamber? To know that in our uh, radiation, that is a radioactive material. So you know that in our nuclear power plant, we have to use a different type of radioactive material. And this radioactive material, that is the example is thorium, okay, molybdenum, these are the uranium, these are the basically uh, atomic, atomic material. You know that when this is basically division, it is division is started. So more and more heat is generated, okay? And where this radioactive material, it is basically burned or heated, it is basically called the ionization chamber. So in this ionization cha chamber, induced electron flow by gas ionization due to the radioactive radiations. So why? What, what is the application of this ionization chamber? It is basically used for the, uh, in our nuclear power plant, for the basically particle counting. So, uses for particle counting in, in nuclear power plant. So this type, basically, uh, ionization chamber, it is basically passive transducer. Next one, photoemissive cell. Photoemissive cell. So first of all, you know that this photoemissive uh, cell, it is basically uses the basically electron emissions due to the incident of the radiation of the uh, photo that is the light energy okay so this photo emissive that is the photo it is basically uh, source of the light in any source that is the sunlight or any 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 vapor type of light or any types of light so this is the basically light source uh, cells that is a photo emissive cells this uh, principal operation of this photoemissive cell, it is electron emissions due to the incident uh, radiation on the photoemissive cell. That means when the cell is activated, the light is fall into this particular photoemissive cell, then the, then the cell it is also energized, then the circuit is, it is on. Okay, so using this property, we have to use this uh, a smart city, you know that, that is a smart sensor, that is a smart light system, okay? So in, in, in all of you see uh, in our national highway or international highway, uh, the traffic light and the light, uh, street light, it is basically uh, for automatic, it is also on and off, you know that. So using this photo emitted cells, using this property, we have to tackle this uh, passive transistor cell. So this is basically uses for light and radiation. Is it clear all of, all of you? Up to this part, it is clear all of you? Yes, this sir. response? No one is response. This is very bad. Yes, sir. 
okay okay so this is the basically photo emitted cell passive transducer another another category is available photo multipolar tube photo multipolar tube so this photo multipolar tube it is basically same property same that is a photo emissive cell that is a photo light it activated of this type of cell so is in the secondary electron emission uh, due to the incident of the radiation on the photo emissive cathode okay so very very it is basically uses basically it is uses for light and radiations photosensitive relay okay that means which circuit it is basically uses for the photosensitive relay system for the particular operations we have to use this passive transducer photo multipolar tube so this is uses for light and radiation and also another one photosensitive relay okay so these are the basic application area of the voltage and current type of passive transducer okay this is clear so this is the number four categories voltage and current using this voltage and current we have to uh, classify this passive transducer first is the all effect pickup setup number two ionization chamber number three is photo emissive emissive cell and number four is the photo multipolar tube okay so okay we can go next the classifications of the fifth category you know that nowadays we have to in this uh, the different types of digital appliances okay so using this digital transducer we have to use this in our uh, daily uses uh, appliances also okay so digital transducer so you know that this is basically uses Uh, what is the technique that is a train of pulse basically it is uses uh, electrical parameter this is the uses electrical parameter for the train of pulse train of pulse okay so this is the basically Uh, properties of the train of pulses so this pulses what is pulses you know that in your digital electronics uh, you know that is a bit pattern so this is a zero and one concept you know that so zero and one this zero it is basically called the off condition or sometimes it is also called low input and one this is basically called the on condition or it is basically high condition so using this zero one concept we have to uh, design basically a train of pulses in our digital uh, setup also. okay so that means when the zero is signal that is off conditions one is basically on condition so this is the basically first category is under encoder encoder so what is the encoder encoder basically uses in our digital uh, electronics that is a uh, encode the particular translation of the sap angular position into a digital number that means basically it is uses for the encoding a digital number okay you have to use this encoder circuit which is encode the particular bit pattern or particular number so what is the basically principle operation of this encoder type of digital transducer it translation of the shaft generator angular position into a digital number or bit okay so basically it is uses for angular positions 
ओके इज इट ओके ऑल ऑफ यू यस सर यस सर ओके सो इन योर मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इट इज कमिंग which device you have to use as for angular position option is given to so encode the type of digital transistor to basically use as for the angular position button. another one that is the even counting even counting is basically conversion of the angular and the translations motion ratio chain of the pulses by by using either electromagnetic or capacitive type of device or photoelectric type of device so i am repeating once again this even counting it is basically uses for the conversion between the angular positions or translation motions of the train of pulses okay by using either electromagnetic type of device capacitive type of device or photoelectric type of device so even counting you know that i am given you one example in in a, in a metro city you have to see uh, a, a, one car parking system which is available so uh, this car park parking system is basically uh, under the category uh, one type of automobile uh, setup automobile engineering so okay so using this counting this counter machine it is counted uh, everyone and senses also which which car it is when it is also entered or exit or what is the basically car descriptions what is the basically car number so these are basically for uses uh, automatic sensor transducer systems in our digital transducer so using this even counting or there is a counter part it is basically conversion of the angular motions or angular positions also and translation motions into the train of pulses by the different types of uh, method that is a electromagnetic method capacitive type of method photoelectric type of method so particular application it is uses for motion measurement that is a moving system okay motion measurement number 3 frequency output frequency output this is the basically another one digital transducer the conversion of the analog signals into the frequency okay so you know that analog signals i i have given you one examples this is a basically one sinusoidal curve you know that that is zero then this is also pi then this is the 2 pi so sin curve this is the starting maximum peak value we have to uh, measure here then it is also again zero then negative region it is also then it is also so this is a basically complex cycle and this is the basically examples of the one analog signal so using this analog signals you have to convert or conversion this analog signal into the frequency measurement okay for example inductive uh, type of transducer or capacitive type of transducer we have to use this frequency output method okay so in our digital electronics you know that this is sorry that is a zero then it is high then it is also zero then also it is zero so these are the basically categories in that is a zero position this is one that is a high condition then it is also zero okay so using this frequency output method in our uh, digital transducer part it is converses converses or conversion of analog signal into the frequency of of different types of transducer that is inductive type or capacitive type so particular application what is the application area of the uh this type of frequency type measurement that is that uses for a displacement measurement force measurement
प्रेशर मेजरमेंट एंड वाइब्रेशन मेजरमेंट वाइब्रेशन मेजरमेंट ओके सो यूजिंग दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी आउटपुट मेथड वी हैव टू यूजेस इन आवर मेजरमेंट डिवाइसेस आल्सो यूजेस फॉर द डिस्प्लेसमेंट मेजरमेंट फोर्स मेजरमेंट प्रेशर मेजरमेंट एंड वाइब्रेशन मेजरमेंट is it clear up, up to this yes sir okay so we have completed the particular important topics classifications of the different transducer and also application area and principle of operations okay so this question is very very important so please note down everyone classifications of the different transducer different types of transducer uh, as well as also principle of operations and application this question it is very important for your semester now next 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 we have to go the next questions or next topics selections selection of transducer selection of transducer so this is the another one important topics so in our measurement system we have to use as different type of transducer in our practical practical uh, sorry uh, particular operations also that means when you have to measure for the temperature measurement when you have to use as for the vibration measurement pressure measurement level measurement humidity measurement anything you have to measure uh, you have to use as different type of transducer also so what is the selection what is the selected how it is select, selected that is particular this transducer it is working particular this uh, this particular field so in in the in the general categorizations or selections of the transducer we have to classify the particular point first of all number 1 that is the range okay this range of the transducer it should be large enough to encompass all the expected magnitude of the measurement also so you have to follow the range so what type of transducer you have to use is particular appliances also so what is the range range is basically of the transducer it should be large so range should be large enough to encompasses enough to encompass all the expected magnitude magnitudes of the measure okay so first of all you have to follow the range number 2 that is the sensitivity it is another one this i p i c i t y sensitivity so this sensitivity it is basically give the different of size of transducer it give a sufficient output signal Per unit of measured input in order to the particular meaningful data. So sensitivity it is basically one of the properties how it is working of the how it is selected for the transducer in our practical field. So using the sensitivity property, the transducer should give a sufficient output signal. Okay. Number third, you have to follow the electrical output. electrical output characteristics so you know that when you have to discuss the different types of uh, classification of the transducer so using the different properties of the electrical output that means resistance inductance capacitance voltage and current 
so these are the basically different output characteristics of the passive transducer so the output it is impedance of the frequency response of the response time of the transducer output signal should be compared with the recorded device for the particular system or equipment also okay so you have to follow when you have to select any transducer it is basically measured the uses for the basic electrical output characteristics that is the impedance or inductance property resistance property uh, inductance property etc voltage and current measurement also number 4 physical environment this is basically one of the important physical environment that means you know that in our uh, environment such place of uh, some how it is basically more heated or some places are that is the coolest area or humidity based area so lots of the uh, particular environment of the available in our country or in our universe also so using this environment you have to easily design or selected for the particular country so in 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 the hottest area that means in, in the uh, desert area that is the rajasthan you know that in the heat timing the temperature it is basically crosses the 50 degrees celsius okay plus minus 50 degrees celsius also okay so in this hottest hottest area hottest temperatures so there are you have to use as different types of um, measurement appliances also using the different types of transducer okay so you have to particular uh, design a transducer what is the basically temperature range of this type of uh, transducer okay and another another also coolest area in the hilly area you know that there the temperature is somehow in our winter season it is negative regions also negative degree celsius also so using this different temperature or physical environment conditions we have to select a particular transducer for the particular appliance also okay is it okay all of you yes sir another 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 category it is cost cost so these are the basically different properties so cost so now it is you know that the cost it is very very important uh, for a selections of the transducer that means you have to use a particular uh, lower level of temperature but in this uh, particular low level of temperature you have to use a spirometer so this spirometer you have to not given the particular uh, uh, temperature for the smallest uh, difference in the temperature scale because you know that in the optical pyrometer or radiation type of pyrometer it is basically uses for the higher level of the temperature area so the temperature range is pyrometer or uh, radiation type of pyrometer more than 1200 degree celsius so 1200 degree celsius is more more temperature ranges so using this radiation pyrometer or radiation type of pyrometer you have to no, not measure the lower level of uh, temperature that means your human body temperature you know that so using the basically particular appliances area you have to use this the particular transducer and the cost it is basically it's basically very much important okay next number 6 that is the error number 6 that is the error so when you have to design a transducer you have to follow the particular error it is also decreases okay because you have to design a good quality of transducer for a particular operation that is the environment conditions so this type of error you have to uh, decrease so the error inherent in the operations of the transducer itself or about uh, it is a human error it is also coming or environmental condition so you know that this error it is basically classified into different category so in our appliances area it is basically itself error itself error means the device it is basically sometime also itself self error it is given sometime it is also human error 
I am given what is the particular human error. Human error. And sometimes it is also in viral name. In viral name. So, error. So, these are the basically classified of the different types of uh, error. So, itself error, that means which type of device you have to use for the transducer. The transducer it is basically uh, give the error, particular cell. Human error, you have to uh, you have to measure the particular scale position. But when you have to see in this scale, a temperature scale or any type of scale is measurement in the in the in the in the view of the angular. So the uh, scale position it is also differences. So these are the basically human error it is coming. Environmental error, I have given the examples that is a physical environment error. That means the hottest area, coldest area, or humidest humidity area. So there are the different types of error is coming for the transducer. Okay, so these are the basically selections area of the transducer. Up to this part, it is clear. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So, particular next particular device that is a measurement of temperature measurement of temperature devices so what type of devices basically we have to use in our temperature measurement you know that first of all thermometer number two thermocouples number third thermistor okay number four infrared thermometer infrared thermometer number five rtd the full form is resistance temperature detector okay number six we have to use a pyrometer okay another another is another one that is the length muir probes length muir Probes. Okay, so these are the basically uh, device we have to measurement for the temperature. Okay, so what is the thermometer? You know that human body temperature you are easily measured using the thermometer. Thermocouples and thermistor it is basically uses for the hottest body temperature measurement. The ranges is that is a 500 degrees Celsius to 900 or 1000 degrees Celsius. Okay, thermometer poles and thermistors. Infrared thermometer. It is basically uses for the infrared. That is the infra light. Okay, so using the infrared device, it is basically uses contactless uh, temperature measurement. Okay, using this infrared light, it is it measures the temperature contactless. Another one, RTD. That is the resistance temperature detector. It is basically important. This RTD and thermistor. It is basically uh, I am given the uh, yes, that is the RTD uh, thermistor. It is basically important for your uh, syllabus for your examples. Okay, so this is the RTD is a resistance temperature detector. Number six I am given that is a pyrometer. You know that this pyrometer is basically 
two types. One is the optical, another one is the radiation type. I am written here. This pyrometer is basically uh, optical pyrometer. And number two, radiation pyrometer. Radiation pyrometer. Okay, this pyrometer is basically important. So this pyrometer, it is basically classified on two categories, optical pyrometer and radiation pyrometer. So when you have to measure the harness temperature in the brick field or, or, or temperature measurement for the uh, thermal power plant, okay, the coke is burned. Okay, you know that the, at that time of temperature, it is, it is too much high. That is a 1200 degree Celsius, more than 1200 degree Celsius also. So using this pyrometer, we have to easily measure that particular temperature, okay? Another, another is the Langmuir probes. This is a one type of probes or a wear. It is basically used for the electron uh, measurement, that is electron temperature of the plasma. Okay, plasma means you know that that is the fourth state of the material. First one is solid, gas, and liquid. And the fourth state is you know that it's plasma, plasma state. So using this Langmuir probes, it is used for the measuring electron temperature of a plasma. Okay, so this is another one. So these are the basically categories under the temperature devices. Is it clear all of you? The last one, what do you have written? Sorry, once again. So last one. Seven last number. one. Last what one is Langmuir probes. This is a one type of wear. And with this type of wear, it is used for the temperature measurement in our in our thermal uh, that is a nuclear power plant. Okay, in, in, you know that in our nuclear power plant, there are the more more and more heat is generated because you know that uranium, thorium, this uh, radioactive material it is heated. When it is heated, this this electron it is em emitted from the sections of the plant also. So using this probe, that is a Langmuir probe, it is basically measured for the electron temperatures for the plasma stage. Okay. Is it okay? Okay. So practically we have to uh, measurement this temperature, you know that temperature scale. So how many type of scale it is available? Please tell me anyone. You know that three. Three. What type of give the applications? Please, please tell me what is the basically different scale. You know that that is okay. the Celsius. Celsius. Fahrenheit Celsius. Yes, very good, very good. That is the Celsius scale number two Fahrenheit. Everyone, please write your own name and roll number in the chat box also. And Rahul is present. Regular student Rahul. Please respond me. Muskan is present. Yes, sir. Muskan, you take a screenshot right now. Yes, yes, sir. And everyone write your own name and roll number very quick. So this three type of scale we have to use is for the uh, scale, temperature scale. So you know that it is a Celsius scale, Fahrenheit scale, and Kelvin, Kelvin scale. Okay. So uh, there are the different of uh, conversations of available. You know that. Basically, you know, uh, this is K is equal to C plus 273.15. This is basically Celsius to Kelvin. Celsius to Kelvin. Another one, Fahrenheit and Celsius, you know that C is equal to F minus 32 